All right, let's see if they won't kill me this time. Or maybe I'm just banished already. Outsider, you have arrived. Please come. Do her. All right, bitch. Where am I going? I'm so glad you're here. It's been a while since anyone's visited us. And he's been waiting for someone like yourself to arrive. You don't even fucking if know me, Grandpa. Me, I thought it said right tree father the bitch. It says budge. I'm sorry. In my excitement, I got ahead of myself. I'm Tree Father Birch, and I have the great fortune of being leader of his people, the Tree Minders. Beyond that gate is our home, Oasis. Why, he is, of course. If you'll just follow me to the pavilion, all will be explained. Let's go, Gramps. Excellent. We welcome you with outstretched arms. I just noticed that when I walk, look how awkward my arms are. Look at that. It's because my booty is like going from side to side. Let's let's do this again. But this time. See? Rejoice! The booty moves. It's a good booty. Did I get it right? Yeah, I did. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Let's try again. <laughs> I don't know if that works. Because I can't see. Let me just... <laughs> uh, Tiggit started just reset. Thanks so much, Tiggit. Welcome back to the one. It's Everybody's show, there's one us in the X. Welcome, dude. Thanks for the support. Thanks a lot, man. Share it! Let's see how long. Dude. Look at all the sprites moving with me. Look at them as they follow me. No matter where I look, the sprites will always face me. Yo, who's he? <sighs> Me. Oh, this is awkward. You have no idea how overjoyed I am to see you. Normally, out. Who's he? That's his power. You feel, outsider. With his outstretched Thanks, wings, he shelters us and keeps us safe. He's no mere god, my friend. He is the one who grows. He is the one who gives. This music so he fitting, right there. Guides. Thanks to him, the tree minders have a home. I would have preferred that he made the introduction, but I. The Great One is a God Tree. A living, breathing, speaking God Tree. The Tree Minders are blessed to have this being watch over us. We care for this place and keep it safe from those who would seek to exploit it. If he doesn't have it, then he's, he's, he he's to gone us, too long so without subbing to, to have it. It's an arrangement that's worked well for almost two decades. We shun technology and embrace nature. That's the life of a tree minder. I wouldn't know, Blair, because I haven't played the other two. Sadly, the wasteland is a hostile place. If that means fighting with men, had he not asked to see you, you never would have gotten. Bitch, please, yes, I can fucking kill everyone here. Does. Sorry, I don't speak to outsiders very often, and I tend to get lost in conversation. As you approached Oasis, he said you were coming, 
and I was sent out to meet you personally with a request. He wishes to meet with you. I haven't listened you to Children of Bodom since like 2007. So very long time. Yes, person. To meet him, you must undergo the ceremony of purification. Once that's complete, you'll be able to speak to him. Whenever you're ready, we may begin. It's simple, really. You drink the sap from the basin here in the pavilion. The sap will purify your mind and body of anything harmful that could possibly hurt him. I assure you, nothing harmful will happen to you. You may, when you're... What is it you wish to talk about, my friend? Let's do it! Very good. Take your place <clears throat> in front of the basin, and let's begin. As soon as the rest of the tree miners are in place... Come on, you fucking idiots! You have a child. Will I be playing Fallout 4? Of course. What's up, bro? Don't look at me like that! You must drink from the basin. Let's do it. Uh, I feel it within me. Do <sighs> tastes like semen. Uh, oh, like really good semen though. Oh, good. Show me. Leave our homes and bodies immediately. Live no longer in them, but oh. pass over into places where we can harm no one. In the name of his frondescence, I call his wrath upon you, so that wherever you may go, you bear it with you. And diminishing from day to day, you may disappear, except where you serve the health and good purposes of mankind. May no trace of you be found. Good fruity semen. Oh, sorry, I was addicted to drugs. Don't like a kid preaching some shit to me. Peacefully into sleep outside, and when you awake, you will witness his glory firsthand. Wait, I wasn't ready for this. Hello? Oh my god, Dream Man, Dream Man. Holy shit. Glad to see you're finally awake. I can't believe they made you do that stupid ceremony. <laughs> they listen when I talk, but they don't hear. Neither have I. Well, I mean, I talked to Herbert, but he never really says anything back. <laughs> Do you, Herbert? He kept growing around me. Maybe for calling him Herbert all the time. His name. Na the, really the music surprisingly fitting. <laughs> I think it's funny when I call him Herbert, though. <laughs> this guy is in Fallout 1 and 2, but he's not a tree. Really? Well, you're quite clever. See, Bob used to ride around on top of my head. Sunk his roots right in there, you know? Well, eventually he got bigger than me, and then I pretty much 
ended up inside. <laughs> I never played uh, Fallout 1 and 2, so unfortunately I'd, I, I don't get the reference. It was a long time ago. I tend to lose track. I was exploring some sort of a military base with some other people. I think it was called Mariposa. We were pretty deep inside, and we found some weird vats of this nasty green goo. Right when we were about to leave, I think we were attacked. Last thing I remember before blacking out was something knocking my friend into the stuff. Yes, yes. I kind of want to know what he was like when he was I guess normal. We do, me and Bob, that is. I had you brought in here to ask a very simple favor. Would you please kill me? Oh, no. Wouldn't be murder. He'd be doing me a favor. You see, I've been stuck here for over two decades now, <clears throat> rooted right into the ground. The only friends I've got are Bob and those weirdos out there who think I'm a god. Decide to go down there. I'll have a little chat with Birch and the rest of the gang. They usually don't understand a word I say, but I'll make them come around. How to put this? I've been feeling rather. Spread out lately. I think Bob's kind of shoved my insides around some. <laughs> it's hard to tell where everything is, but it's always that way with one's inside. I want to know more about this man. Anyway, I believe Bob's carried some of my organs into his root system. I want you to go underground and destroy my heart. You will? Oh, oh you... You made us so happy. Oh, oh, isn't that right, Bob? Just, just give me a little time to say goodbye to good old Bob, and then I'll be ready. No, no. Herbert is the tree. Bob is his real name, but I call him Herbert because I think it's pretty funny. <laughs> but I'm still in here too. What's left of me? The name's Harold. Huh. Gave you good karma when you saved them and made him spread even more. Harold, Fallout 1.
Oh, wow. It looks the same. It looks like a ghoul. Oh, that's cool though. It's all pixelated still. I never knew about that. That's cool. Let's put it in two and see what happens. He looks a little bit different. He's got twigs coming out of his head. So he goes into a full tree. I want to know more about why it, what what <laughs> happened to that. Look. I've been literally rooted to this spot. Thanks to Bob for maybe 20 or 30 years. I can't even remember anymore. Can you imagine being stuck in one place for that long? Not being able to eat or to read or to sleep or anything? In the meantime, I have these tree minders bothering me every day about things I don't even care about! And I can't stand it anymore! I knew you would. That's why I picked you when I saw you coming. Maybe I'm just losing my mind from all this boredom, but I swear if I try, I can see all around me. Like my eyes are in every leaf, on every tree. I think it's making Bob kinda jealous, cause he was the first tree in my life. And, uh, See you later. Well, maybe not if you do what I've asked. That's pretty sad. Christ. Dude, the music's amazing. I'm glad I modded this lunchbox. Oh, 
Caution. Oh, I don't go that way. The heavies will give me a potion to heal. Uh, oh, really? Ooh, let's do that instead. If I can save him, I don't have to kill him. Yo! Where you at? And I'm telling you, you've got it all wrong. Why else would he have called for an outsider's assistance? The outsider is here to deliver us from our enemies. To keep this place safely locked away from the wasteland, not to exploit us. I already started uh, New Vegas Flipside, but like, as you can tell, like, I missed a lot of stuff. So I came back to Fallout 3. That's not what he would want. If we allow the spread of this miracle to continue, we're putting him in jeopardy. I can't allow that. I won't allow it. Once again, my husband, we are at the end of this. I suggest we speak to the outsider. Agreed. Why else would the outsider have been allowed into the grove? Perhaps it's a test. Yes, that must be it. I know why you're here, and despite what my wife thinks, I know. After all, he chose you, and he would never want to put us in harm's way. Oh, he's testing you now. Just like he tested us. He wants to see if your faith is strong by spinning these incredible stories. Who else but a god could produce all of this? Don't worry. You'll soon see things as I do. Uh, Elite. Elliot, sorry, my favorite game is Final Fantasy VII. Yes, I've been pondering that riddle myself for some time now. And I think I know what he's trying to tell us. The Great One's influence is growing, and soon it will break free of the confines of this secluded veil. We can't allow Oasis to call attention to itself like that. It would be the end of him. I've had enough of I've tolerated it this long because you're an outsider, but no- If I go against what he says, then I'll- like, he can spread. Dude, I cried when I saw the trailer for the remake. No shit. I actually cried. Because when they first announced it for the, like, when they made a PS3 trailer video for it, I, I thought that was it, you know, the making one. And it was just like a testy thing, like, uh, it never actually happened. And then every year after that, it's been rumored, 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 nothing happened. And then randomly just here. And I was like, this can't ha this can't be happening. And then as soon as I saw the highway on the trailer, I knew it straight away because I recognized that fucking highway. And then just the confirmation of the, the flower on the floor. Um, you know. If I, I love Birch. But sometimes I think he doesn't see the spreading of his influence is not a curse. It's a great miracle. A benefit meant for the entire wasteland. Of course we do. He yearns to share his miracles with the whole world. To give the gift of life back to the dead wasteland. It's upsetting him to no end. But, but now that you're here, I have a feeling the winds are about to change. I 
heard what my husband wanted you to do. The same person that created the sand also created this liniment. If you can reach his heart, it will assist in making his influence increase. Instead of centuries, the wasteland will become green in mere decades. Just imagine how glorious that would be. Well, I definitely want to spread it. Revel, outsider. You are under his protection. Cast aside your bits of technology and mark. It's, uh. I don't know why I'm lockpicking this. It's telling me to go in here. I'm not triggered, I'm just like, you know, <laughs> shut the fuck up. Just ranting about something that always bothers me about the newer Final Fantasies. Am I looking forward to the remake? I mean, as I said before, you know, I've been waiting for the remake ever since they first teased the, the thought of it. You know, I've been waiting for this for years. And it's finally happening. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. That's one way of saying it. Um... Why'd you die? Oh, my legs. Oh, there was a guy that could give me a key. Oh, well. On the left! What are you doing? Okay. Why can't I shoot through water? What the fuck? It's like really sad music. Fits perfectly now. I'm using Hellfire armor. Yes. Oh my god.
down, 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 down. It's like something right next to me. I don't know. Did I do the right thing? I don't know. He's gonna be sad. Tree father and leaf mother have confirmed with the great one. Something important must have happened. You've done a great deed this day, my friend. The gifts the great one has bestowed upon us will now take mere decades to breach the confines of Oasis instead of centuries. In your short visit here, I can see you've learned much. That's a rare gift in these turbulent times. I believe there are a few tree minders who wish to speak to you before you depart. Good luck in all your journeys, my friend. So, it looks like you decided to do things their way, huh? How come? No, I suppose you are. My mistake for making you do tell something you, the truth. you didn't want to do in the first place, I guess. Still... Maybe it's all for the best. I mean, I've been talking with Birch and they really seem to need me. What do you say, Herbert? <laughs> Should I give him another chance? Fine, fine, I mean, Bob. 
I still think it's funny when I call him Herbert. <laughs> Come back and visit me sometime. Oh, God. <laughs> I wanted to tell him. It didn't give you an option to tell him. That it's for, for everyone else. Not for me. It's good to see you. Oh man, why is the music so fitting? <laughs> I'm really good at this, you know? Getting music to fit games. What is an outsider? Although his influence will spread through the wasteland one day, that day is still a long way off. For now, we'll remain ever vigilant and watch the wasteland for anything that could threaten this sanctuary. It's not about him. It's more important. Goodbye, outsider, and good luck. He has to suffer so that everyone else can feel better. So that the wasteland doesn't become a wasteland forever. That it can have trees sooner. It's good to see you again. Ah, it's nice to have the pleasure of your company again. I've never known someone to show as much caring as you did towards us. It seems to be rare to run into anyone like that anymore. That's partly why I never returned to my former life after I found myself in this place. Allow me to present a piece of my past to you, friend. Perhaps it will serve you better than it served me. Really? Shredder grenades? Really? May the sap of- Get out of my way. There's already some trees from Project Purity. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Dick. I did a good thing. If your mom, or your dad, or your brother, or your sister had to die, and you had to kill them so that everyone else could live, would you do it? Could you do it? <laughs> 